Hi and welcome to the Incite My Life channel. So today we're going to be going over another exam P1 practice question. And these questions are taken exactly from the ACTEC study manual. So let's begin with our first problem. Let x be a discrete random variable with probability function 2 over 3 to the power of x for x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, just basically the natural numbers. What is the probability that x is even? So take a moment to think about this one, maybe try it out, and I'm going to be showing you the solution right now. So this is what we have to do first. We have to note that we're looking for where x is even. So that's the probability where x is 2, or x is 4, and 6, 8, and so on. So if we were to try and write out the first few terms of our sequence, we would get something that looks like this. We have 2 over 3 squared, and then 2 over 3 to the 4th, and then 2 over 3 to the 6th. So our question then is, do we notice any type of common factor, or something that we can pull out of this sequence? And just by looking at this, we know that the numerator is what they all have in common, so we can definitely pull out a 2. But then in the denominator, the least um, common denominator that they have is the 3 squared. So we can actually pull out 2 over 3 squared. And when we do that, we now have 2 over 3 squared, and then the remaining sequence is 1 plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 to the 4th. Now you notice I ask, what is the common ratio? And the reason I'm asking that is because you should be able to identify that this is a geometric series. And we know because it, it has something that we can pull out, it starts with one, okay? And then it's going to increase by this ratio. And that common ratio, remember, is taking the, the second term or basically any term and then dividing it by the term before it. So we're going to take 1 over 3 squared divided by 1, giving us a common ratio of 1 over 3 squared. So now the next question we want to ask ourselves is, is this infinite or finite? And since this doesn't have a limit, they didn't say that we're evaluating this up to 10, but they just said that from you know any set of numbers, any set of even numbers which means that it's infinite. It can just keep going and going. So the sum of infinite geometric series is 1 over 1 minus r, where r is the common ratio. So if we put these things together, take the common factor that we pulled out, and then plug uh, our ratio into the uh, sum formula, multiply them together, and you get this. And just work that out completely, and you'll get your final solution. Now let's take a look at another problem. So we're going to let x have the density function 3x squared over theta cubed for 0 is less than x, which is less than theta. And the function is 0 otherwise. So if the probability of x is greater than 1 uh, is equal to 7 eighths, find the value of theta. OK, so to solve this one, all right, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to first Remember that this is a uh, PDF, so a probability density function. So what we actually need to find is the CDF, the cumulative distribution function, because we're finding where x is greater than 1. So it's not just a specific point. Like, we're not just saying, what's the probability that x is 1? We're finding where it's greater than, so that's a set of values. So we have to integrate the area under the curve. So where do we get the curve? We get that by creating our CDF, by integration. So uh, we have the setup for this, but now we got to think, what is the area of integration? So let's try and think, what, what are we trying to, or what area are we trying to use here? We know that our range was from 0 to theta. So if, it, if x is greater than 1, then it's going from 1 to theta. And you can see this is our complete integral. So from here, we're going to just integrate that, and we're going to evaluate it from 1 to theta. So when you work this out, you're going to see that we get theta is equal to 2. 
All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching and taking the time to look at my videos. I'll be posting more actuary problems up in the future. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I completely, you know, feed off of your feedback. So, you know, I almost was going to stop for a while, and then I, I've had uh, several people actually say that they really like the tutorials not you know and that that's inspired me to keep going so your words are very powerful i just want to let you know that you know what you say has a very strong effect on you know what happens especially in your own life you know if you sit there and you say oh, i'll never be able to pass this exam or i'll never be able to do this and that see that all of that has a strong effect on yourself and i'm telling you through my own words that you can do it if you take the time you can learn and you can achieve it and so thank you I love your feedback please you know leave a comment and just leave any type of suggestion that you want to see in the future for the channel thank you guys so much for stopping by see you next time